Hello and welcome to this how-to video. I'm getting you familiar with YouTube and how it all works. Okay, so I'm just going to show you in this video how you can use the live chat function in YouTube videos. So what I've done is I've actually come across to the Integrity Music YouTube channel. Um, I'm logged in as myself, okay, and um, I'm subscribed to the channel. Okay, so when I come to the, their channel page, you see, this is what I was saying in the previous video. At the very top of the page, it's showing me the live streams that are happening live right now. And it makes them so easy to find. They're right at the top of their page. Beneath them, there's all sorts of other videos and things that they've done and playlists and stuff. But I'm not interested in those today. I want to take you to look at one of these live streams and show you how you can interact and use the live chat feature. So, you could just imagine this was our church page, right? And we are live now. So that's the one you want. You click on the picture or you click on the, the writing and it'll take you to that live stream. Fourth of July is coming. Okay. Independence Day. One of the biggest. The volume. Okay. So this is an advert we've got on there. So I'm going to skip that. And so here's, here's really loud worship music. Right, so I'm going to just mute that. Um, obviously, hopefully, you'll be wanting to join in with the church stuff, so you won't want to mute the church live feed. Um, but anyway, right, so we're watching the live stream going on. We could even make that full screen if we wanted to. But now, yeah, there you go. Okay, so we've got, got it going on full screen. I'm going to just bring it back to small screen. Now, the thing with this is it kind of all depends on the type of device that you're using. I'm making this video um, on a, um, it's on a, a, a PC, okay, like a laptop. So the view I'm getting on my screen now is that that I'll see on a PC or a laptop. If I'm using a mobile phone or a tablet, the way that things are arranged on the screen is a little bit different, okay. Sometimes you will get the um, live chat happening underneath the, the video. Or if you turn your device um, sort of sideways so that it's landscape, you will get a video and then some words, uh, the, the chat sort of to the side. So it kind of just depends on the device you have. Now, on a, on a computer, you get your live chat um, happening straight away. The chat might be hidden when you first start, so you might have sort of suggested videos down the side. But at the top here, it says show chat. So all you've got to do is click on that and it'll open up that chat box. If you are on a mobile device, um, for example, down here underneath the video, there are usually lots of other little buttons and pictures um, on, a, on a tablet or a mobile phone. One of those with a live video is a little speech bubble and it says live chat. If you click on that speech bubble live chat, your live chat will then open up either underneath the video or to the, the side, depending on how you have your um, or how you're holding your device. Okay. So that's how you can actually start to see it, look at what's going on. Now, there are a few other things to notice about live chat. So the default setting on YouTube is a top, it, it calls it top chat. So on whatever device you'll see at the very top of the box where you see all the comments, um, you will see it says top chat, okay? Now, that kind of ha means that there are a couple of filters applied, um, kind of slowing, um, just, just sort of trying to be a little bit more selective as to what is shown and seen. Now, that might mean that one or two comments may not be, able, may not be sort of seen on here. Um, me personally, when, I, when I'm doing this um, with church, I want to see what everybody says. Um, I think everyone's contribution is um, valid. So if I click on that little, see there's a little down arrow. Just get out of that. Let me show you that down there. Okay, there's a little down arrow there. So if I click on that, I now can move between top chat and live chat. So top chat, it says some messages such as potential spam may not be visible. But live chat will show you everything. So I'm just going to click on live chat. Now we do have moderators um, on our page. Um, keeping things safe, um, making sure that if there is anyone trying to do some spam, whatever, that they will be removed. 
um, and just sort of keeping things safe and sensitive on our live chat stream. So you can feel safe and secure and confident on there um, and knowing that there are people who um, are on the road to actually do that um, every time we go live as a journey. All right, so this is now the live chat. So now I'm seeing everything that people are posting. You can see there, there's people um, who've got accounts and they've got pictures, some don't, um, but everybody is logged in. You can't comment without being logged in. Um, so this, this person or organization is called Hope. Um, here we have Erin in Florida, that's her screen name. We've got George Kwong, that's his screen name. Anna Perinthia is their screen, screen name. Okay, and down here is where I can type something. So my my thing will appear with my photo and my name. So we can, I can say something. So I'm just going to say, praise the Lord. Okay, so I've typed in what I want to say. I've got a limit of 200 characters. I've only used 16. That's fine. I could put a, this, a, an emoji if I wanted to. Um, I'm, I'm not going to, but... There's lots to choose from. Um, I'm just going to go back to my keyboard. This little blue kind of arrow thing here means go. So I'm going to click that. I've entered it. And now you can see my comment has now entered into this live chat feed here. So here's my comment. There's my picture. There's my name. Praise the Lord. There's the comment I have included in the live chat. Okay. Now, something else you can do is you can mention people's Name. So George Kwong, life is short and should be happy. Right, so I'm going to agree with George Kwong here. Yeah? To make sure that George sees my message, I'm going to use an at symbol and I'm going to type George. And now his name's already popped up because he's already in the live chat. So I'm just going to click on that there. So at George Kwong, um, I'm just going to agree. So I'm going to go Amen. Right. Type that in. So now George Kwong has been tagged in that comment. So he's definitely going to see what I've written in response or reply. So you might get some of your friends um, using the at symbol, um, sending you um, uh, like in a, in a conversation on here. You might have um, a moderator sort of saying, hello, welcome. If you say, please, can I, please, can I pray or whatever? Um, please pray for this situation. Um, you might get someone saying at and then your username, um, you know, responding to that to you directly. Um, using using that. So that's all that is. That's just making sure that you can see that comment and you're not going to miss it. Okay. So there we go. That is how you use the live chat. You just type it and then you click go. And that is it. If the live chat annoys you intensely, you can minimize it. You can just say hi to chat um, or you can no chat. Um, and that happens alongside um, the video. And that is perfect. So um, here they are doing some singing. Let me try and turn up the volume a little bit for you. Enjoy a little bit of that at the very end. Okay, good. So thank you for watching this. I hope that has been helpful to you. I do look forward to seeing you over on our church YouTube page when we start live streaming on there directly and that you guys get really involved in the live chat function to interact with the church and with each other. So thank you so much for watching this and yep, I'll see you soon. Bye.